Griezmann is my first player to watch for match day 5. The French forward scored a brace against Ireland to see his side safely through to the next round, where they'll meet Iceland. So far in the competition, he's taken 15 shots, 12 of which have been from inside the area, and he's hit the target with 7 of them, which ranks him 4th for shots on target, behind only Bale, De Bruyne and Ronaldo. The only potential downside to Griezmann is that he's not playing central, he tends to start out on the right with Giroud central, but even so, he's clearly still getting the chances, making those runs from out wide, so I can see him being a good option once again when France take on Iceland. Next up is Draxler. He's played 70 minutes or more in three of Germany's four games so far and provided a goal and an assist in the most recent win over Slovakia, so it looks likely to keep his place. So far in the competition, he's taken eight shots, six from inside the area with two on target and he's created five chances. Germany take on Italy in the next round, which won't be easy. Italy have already taken Belgium apart in this competition and most recently did the same to Spain. But Germany have also impressed so far and will certainly give Italy a good game. So for 6.5 million, Draxler looks like a great budget option. Next up is Hazard. He was outstanding for Belgium in the 4-0 thrashing over Hungary, scoring a fantastic goal where he beat 3 or 4 men as he cut inside from the left. He's taken 9 shots, hitting the target with 3 and he's created 15 chances. Only De Bruyne, Payet and Ozil have created more in the competition so far. Belgium take on Wales in the next round, and I think that could be another high scoring game, so Hazard could certainly be one to bring in. And the final player to watch for me is Giaccarini. He's an important part of Italy's midfield, and he's listed as a defender, so he is rewarded with four clean sheet points when Italy managed to prevent their opposition from scoring. He assisted the opening goal against Spain in Italy's last game to pick up a nine point haul. So far in the competition, he's taken three shots, but two have been on target, and he's also created two chances, one of which was an assist. So he doesn't have huge numbers, but he is clinical, which is exactly what Italy need for their style of play. Italy take on Germany next, which will certainly be their toughest test so far, but having kept three clean sheets from four against Belgium, Sweden and Spain, and having only conceded one goal in the competition so far, which was conceded by their B team after the manager chose to rest the majority of his starting 11 against Ireland, it's certainly a big possibility that they can manage to keep Germany from scoring. So as always, let me know in the comments whether you agree or disagree with my picks. Feel free to highlight any players that you think are ones to watch for match day 5. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and be sure to check out my squad selection video for match day 5.